Greetings and salutations from Pandora the Eclectic. And we get to do a fun refuation today to a certain idiot that shall go by the name of Onision. His real name is actually Greg, but, you know, I think I'd rather call him Onision. So, people by the name of Greg won't have to live with the shame and guilt that this asshole bestows upon that name. Anyways, begin. Anyways, this uh, video referation is towards his past video. Uh, why do some girls oppose feminism? Basically, it's a video about women against feminism. You know, basically these girls who, and I have a new one of them, who hold up the sign stating, like, why I'm not a feminist kind of thing. It's a personal stance and within and reason, but this idiot doesn't think it is. So, well, let's begin. Warning. Hey, there's this kind wow. of stupid thing on the internet where really dumb girls hold up signs explaining why they're against feminism. You people are so fucking stupid. And this is me explaining not only why some girls are against... This is also coming from a man who practically abused most of his girlfriends while being in a relationship with them. And is now currently a father and possibly may do horrible things to that child. I don't to hear about, but I'm somehow going to hear around the news some way. So, uh, since you're on YouTube and, <laughs> you know, someone's going to see it, Greg, namely children and their parents, unfortunately. Anyways, carry on. Feminism, but why you're a total fucking moron for being against feminism. I don't need feminism because I'm not a delusional, disgusting, hypocritical man hater. I respect men and they respect really. You're not only going to blindly generalize multiple times, but you're also going to assume that men just automatically respect you. I'm a man and I don't really respect what you said. Because guess what? You wouldn't have the right to vote without feminists. You wouldn't have the right to divorce a man without feminists. You wouldn't have anything near equal. Okay. Of course, he does this lovely thing of lumping in, uh, I believe, first wave feminist from the 1920s, who, yes, by the way, the men also fought for all right to vote, too, by the way, Greg, almost died. I mean, nowadays, it's not really men fighting for those rights, they're more like white knights and manginas and stuff like that. And these are men who just, anything you say, mistress, anything you say, I'll cut off my balls. I'll have no interest in women whatsoever. I'll, I'll, I'll pretend to be gay just so you'll have, have fun with me. And, it, you know, I, and I'll be pro-choice. It's for your point of view, but not because I believe in it. But because I'm a subjected man fucking Gina. Right. Other than that. Right. That's about it. And I hate saying this, uh, Greg. If you. I think it was also that first sentence you said at the beginning. Not quite at the beginning, but you know, somewhere in the middle of the beginning. Where you said. Not only does she repeat herself, of, of, if she can't repeat herself and she's an equal to you, Greg, I think we got some issues with our logic here, don't you think? Well, pay as men without feminists. For all we know, women would literally be treated like cattle without feminists. Is this how you want to look? You want to be walking around the streets with only a little bit of skin showing? You really want to be treated like property? You want to be born into this world destined to be sold off to the highest bidder? Is that really what you fucking want? Because in our history is the overwhelming tendency for women to be oppressed. And when someone is oppressed, they need someone to stand up and say, this is fucking bullshit and it needs to change. It's very difficult to do that without feminists. 14 women. I don't know about that, Greg. Change was also for black people, because I hate to say this, there were some white women who were feminists who didn't think that I 
should be seen I should be voting or anything. Most women and minorities probably hate white feminists and have good reason to, by the way, because they subjugate us just as much as, say, the white males. The difference is, I think it takes them decades to recognize it. While white men, I think they kind of go, you know, let's let the black man vote. And I think they had the right to vote, like, in 18, I believe it was 1870. And that was probably during, uh, you know, the Ku Klux Klan days. Yeah, the KKK, and, you know, history, or at least you should know, Greg. Say they don't need feminism, a.k.a. 14 dumb motherfuckers. I don't need feminism. And yet... We have him staring at me. But, whatever. ...because I respect all humans, not just one gender. It's not about females being better than men. It's about women having... Then, why is it we have to always have movies that, um, say, or basically have to be about women? Why do we have tons of films where women where guys are not in it because, oh, how, how dare they? Anyways, carrying on. In the same rights as males. How does that not register in your brain? This is that feminists have been fighting so hard for so long. They've finally gotten so comfortable with the lifestyle these women earn for you. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to think of how in the fuck is... How am I comfortable in what happens? And I don't... I'm sorry, but... There are issues that face women in this country that don't face me. Well, how to put it? Some of those actually are not just men's rights, but women's rights too, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But for some reason, you know... Feminists don't focus on, like, I don't know, abortion. You know, we don't seem that we've had feminists who actually oppose it. Now, maybe they're the Christian feminazis, which are even worse to me, in double. and made us stupid, in my opinion, but whatever. No longer appreciate it like some spoiled fucking brat that was born with a silver spoon in its mouth. This is August 18 this year. Gender pay gap. Female uh -huh. bosses are 35% less than male colleagues. Obviously, there's a huge fucking problem here, even today. I'm sorry, but, uh, the boss, in my opinion, would probably earn more than the employees. And even then, Greg, even then... There are laws that protect gender pay, gender pay wage thing, and we already have that law, and the ch this is just a story about that because, oh, well, clickbait for anyone like me who's a MRA or a feminist who wants to subjugate or feel comfortable that Oh, I'm still necessary to this country. Okay, that, yes, there are problems in this country that face women. Even though it's not just the gender pay wage gap that's important. You need to work on abortion, just, you know, or at least any form of contraceptive to protect. And that's something that everyone should work on, male and female, because there are some religious fundamentalists in our government that don't think men or women should have any decision over their own bodies because God! That's it. That is all. People who do the same job with the same quality and effort deserve the same fucking pay. Doesn't matter if they're a girl or a boy. Uh, first of all, Greg, how do you know the woman even did it with the same quality? Because she may be a boss, meaning She's a boss, but she may also be, I don't know, a supervisor. And I kind of think, yeah, supervisors are going to get paid less, not because 
oh, she's female or male, but because, dare I say it, she's doing less of the goddamn work. Okay, I think it's a little harder to be the employee in this case, male or female. And also, I think you forget, hey, what about situations where guys are working their asses off and having twice as <laughs> oh, God. You are aware of the fact that men make up most of, if not a lot of the, um... I think it's on work or at work, uh, injuries and stuff like that. That's, so, yeah, of course they're going to get paid more because, guess what? They're doing more of the physical labor than women. And more likely, too, because uh, they're a lot stronger than some of their female employees. So, yeah. It's called using common sense, my good dear. So to reduce this pay gap that still exists today, who are you going to rely on? This chick holding up a sign, ignorantly protesting feminism? An idea that exists to fight for the sign holder's very right? Okay, I'm sorry, Greg, but I don't think you quite understand what these women are doing and why they're doing it. And of course you don't, because you're a dumb motherfucker. And I think women somehow are being attached because feminists told you. Okay. But, no. She's holding that sign up because it's in refuation to idiots like Jessica Valenti, or Aeneas Sarkeesian, or, God, there's, there's a list of women who are probably anti-male to the extreme, and think men are somehow just inferior to that of women. And I'm sorry, I don't believe that, nor think that way. Hey, and also, not only that, do they uh, subjugate people like me, both male, you know, female, uh, and say, oh, well, you poor will thing. Those men don't respect you and treat you like a whore. That's why you're dressed like that. Hmm. And they censor everything in the media as if I'm never going to see it. So, there you go. I'm already being told I'm an idiot because, oh my god, hut. Oh my god, it just, it offends women so much. That's what they're opposing, you idiot. The censorship, and bullshit, the unfairness of how men get treated, especially on the internet and everywhere else, because thanks to these dumb bitches, yeah, they don't get treated the way they should because male. That's why. Hey, ladies, if you're going to hold up a sign saying you're against feminism, I beg you, do it with a burger on. At least then you would be honest about Okay, I'm skipping past this because, frankly, I don't want to hear any more of... I've already watched this video once, and I think it was at least my second time. I don't want to hear any more of the feminist fear-mongering bullshit that is being used to scare women like me, and other women for that matter, into being afraid that men are going to do horrible things to us when they're not even doing it yet. Worse than the fundamentalist souls out there. Okay. Fucking jackass. Opposing your own goddamn human rights. You don't help anyone. You just hurt yourself. Again, Greg, you don't need to be a feminist at all. No, no, no. I guess you can be, because you are a manipulative mangina who thinks women have no rights, who think men are these monsters that come to destroy us, widow, precious snowflakes, where they don't need you doing that, trust me. And you shouldn't be doing it at all, in my opinion. Because you are an asshole. Of an asshole, of an asshole, of an asshole. Okay. So congratulations on punching yourself in the fucking face. This whole anti-feminism movement is for complete fucking idiots. You don't bite the hand that be Feel free not to join. We just know... Keep in mind, we will remember this 
and possibly, I don't know, destroy you. Well, whatever. Alright. One minute, gotta take care of something on the computer. Computer door. But yeah. So I just making sure I don't have anything going on. Doing this. So many women simply don't understand how life was before feminism. I seriously have a hard. Really. Really. Greg, I think more than enough of us know what it was probably like. We hear about it all the fucking time from people like you. Hell, I just heard a bit of a history hey, about that, and I hear about it all the time, and even that's a bit falsified. Hey, because people like you think, ev uh, just carry on, carry on. Time for leaving society today. We're acting like a bunch of fucking spoiled teenagers who have had everything handed to us. And what do we do? Turn towards our ancestors. I hate to say this, but... I blame feminism for that only because, yeah, you've censored everything, including history, so we can put women up on a little pedestal and we can feel special, much like this tea coffee mug that I got here. And feel like, oh, it's sexist that some guy puts me in an outfit that accentuates my boobs or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, we must be spoiled rotten or something. Hey. People who came before us, metaphorically our parents, and we say fuck you for being so caring. Actually, it's great, 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 I'm sure if I gave them a look and they looked at me, they would be like, Who are you? They would know who I was and probably wouldn't stop them from protecting my rights that don't exist yet. So, yeah. Also, I hate to say this, but, uh, what makes you think... Anyways, whatever. Carrying on. So considerate, so loving towards me for sacrificing yourself for the sake of my advancement in this world. Because I'm an ungrateful, spoiled piece of shit. And I'm so stupid I don't even realize by holding up this sign, I'm begging for things to go back to the way they were before. I hate saying this, but has he read any of these signs? I mean, seriously. It says on the sign that's right behind him, I don't need feminism because I like when men say compliments about my body. Meaning, uh, maybe feminism has made women in general a little too sensitive towards minor things, like, I don't know, a guy complimenting you, or a guy saying you're pretty or attractive, and I'm sure feminism's not going to stop it, but the problem is feminists try to stop it. They try to make it seem demeaning and stupid and ignorant and shit like that. It's not. It's fine. I'm fine with a guy, you know, looking at my curves and complimenting. Now, mind you, I have gotten com I've gotten compliments on here that have made me a little iffy, and I check and you know make sure that those like, compliments are compliments. Okay, they're not just oh yeah, you know, like you know, immature cat calling, so I don't call him an asshole for just, a, you know, being interested in my physical before, okay? Anyways, back to the bullshit. Feminism existed, so I ask you this. If you were going to be so goddamn stupid as to oppose your own gender's equality to the other gender, do not vote ever again, because without feminists, you wouldn't have the right to vote. You oppose them, that would be hypocritical for you to vote. Do not accept a paycheck that is equal to your male co-workers. Refuse it and say, no, I'm against feminism, I want to be... Right. So, I'm supposed to refuse that. By doing that, I refuse those particular rights, but 
if I continue with feminism, I'm supposed to hate men, and find any time they compliment me, or think I'm pretty, and nonsense like that, because if I do, I'm opposing feminism, and how dare I do that? Which was supposed to, you know, give me rights to do whatever I want, right? Mm hmm? Anyways, he goes on and on like this. He paid less. Do you ever marry a guy and you want to divorce him? Well, tough fucking luck. If there were no one fighting for women's rights, do you really think you'd have the ability to divorce someone? You're stuck with him because in your ideal world without feminists, you don't have the right to decide. Ideal world? Sweetie, an ideal world for feminists isn't just so I have rights. It's so I can subject a man without having any say as well. That's what it's gone down to. It's not about you and I having any equal rights. It doesn't fucking matter anymore on that end. But, whatever. Your no, in this crazy, bonkers, anti-feminist, fucktard world, you're some kind of inferior creature who only exists to serve rather than live as their own independent entity. So why are some girls against feminism? Because they're fucking stupid and they have no idea what it was like before feminism. <laughs> Right! Absolutely! Because that's what it is, isn't it, Greg? Anyways, this is Pandora the Eclectic telling Onision how wonderful he fucking isn't. And you all to keep it frosty and click subscribe. Follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and all that stuff, which will be down in the links below. And have a great day night or whenever the fuck you're watching this video uh, because when I'm making this video it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning I think so uh keep it frosty